King, I want to take you back a journey about a year ago when I gave a presentation on leadership style. And this presentation is done this past year in October 2019. Remember the time before COVID-19 when we can give live presentation? This is an actual project on the Advanced Communicator Gold, which is actually a legacy program that no longer exists in Toastmaster International, that I gave in front of a crowd of 50. And at that meeting, I highlighted the point difference between manager and leader. A manager is someone who plans, organize, but a leader is someone who inspires, shows the direction and motivates and inspire. And the reason I bring this back up is because during my meeting there, I talk about two things, the characteristics of leaders and leadership style. And there are two different things. Characteristic is a trait, a value that define a good leader or a bad leader. Leadership style, on the other hand, has a lot to do with culture, which is my line of work currently as an intercultural communication trainer, specialist and speaker. I talk about the different leadership styles in different countries. Again, I'm not going to highlight that in this presentation. This is one of my teaching and you're welcome to check us, check my material out later. But today I want to get into the Toastmaster definition of leadership styles. Does this look familiar to you? If you're familiar with that pathway project, as Toastmaster Dennis asked me earlier, what pathway am I on? On level two, when you go through the pathway towards the end of, a, of your course, you have to take a test to test the leadership style. I posted two screenshots. One was taken in October, 2019, 13 months ago. The other one is taken recently this month before I give my presentation today. Notice any difference? Yeah. If you take a look, thank you, Melanie. If you take a look, the coaching is still remain <laughs> at the top, but there's a shift. There's a shift from the authoritative leadership style drop down and the democratic style moved up. Now, this has nothing to do with the election. I'm not gonna bring any politics subject to this. I know we're in the midst of it, but Leadership goes so much more beyond political leaders. You, me, the team we are leading, they are all leaders. In essence, we are all here to lead to success. These eight traits of leadership style defined by Toastmaster International is not necessarily end or be all, but it gives you a guideline how you can follow through. Whether you're a coach, whether you're bureaucratic, whether you're authoritative, it may be necessary to have some of these traits at different circumstances. And hence the reason no answer is the right answer here. Yeah, some of you might think I'm bureaucratic authoritative. Am I a dictator? No. have to exhibit authoritarian leadership style in certain circumstances. For example, maybe working with a culture, a collective culture, such as from China, from Asia, or maybe from Russia, you have to demonstrate that. Yes, I've been to club overseas, and towards the end of my presentation, I will share some of these traits with you while I have learned through the different leadership styles. Before I dive there, I want to talk about a leadership coach that we all know and love very well. Welcome on board, Regional Advisor Karen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right now, I'm giving a speech on leadership, and Toastmaster Karen and myself had the privilege to attend one of the John Maxwell training. I'm glad she just joined in. This is very timely because John Maxwell is something we know about, but we don't know how to execute. We don't know how to apply his skill set. One of the Toastmaster members down in District 40, Michael Pope, he led this mastermind group and he talked about the 15 invaluable laws of growth. What are the 15 invaluable laws of growth and how is it related to leadership. Now, I'm not going to read through all of it, but if you look at these law, they serve more as a guideline, is it? Yes, it's a structural steps. You want to go from step one all the way to step 15, but each step has its own message, has its own theme. Whether you're looking to yourself, 
you're looking to be consistent, you're looking to climb the ladder, you're looking to follow someone, which is law 13, law of monitoring. How do you define leadership? This is a powerful model that John Maxwell had developed over the decades. And he has seen through, including his participation in multiple organizations such as Toastmaster, but he actually gave a testimony on several companies, Fortune 100 company CEO leader, who follow through this law of reflections and able to grow as a leader. In essence, John Maxwell want to tell us one thing very clear. A leader never stops learning. A leader never stops growing and the leader always stays consistent. Now, how does it apply to us, Toastmaster, and our work-life balance and also our personal and professional journey? Give you a quick example. What I've attended recently, I know that's a lot of screenshots. There's the Diversity for Success Club that I'm chartering currently, and Toastmaster Karen, you're welcome to ch uh, check it out down the road. We invited one of your former member, Toastmaster Katie Brando, to speak on emotional intelligence, which is also a subject of leadership. Another opportunity I attended is the Competitor Speakers Club. Toastmaster Karen probably know that too. They have a club in Cincinnati, and this is a joint event between Cincinnati, Phoenix, Arizona, in my hometown, Hong Kong, China. We have three city, over 200 participants participated on a Friday night. And we talk about collaboration in an environment. How can we competitive and stay competitive, set yourself apart from others? Why are there so many Toastmaster Club out there? Why should they pick you? <laughs> Why should they pick a club? If your club demonstrate leadership, would that be uh, something that you can set yourself apart? This is my home club, Independent Speaker Toastmaster. We have themes every meeting, you notice that. What we put together for table topic, what we put together for our speaker, and it's very well balanced and well coordinated. In fact, we engage each other beyond the theme of the meeting. We engage each other by learning. And that in itself is a leadership trait. A leader always teach his or her followers to learn, not the other way around. A leader always learn from his or her leader by starting with why. And this is another club example. I can give it to you. The Love Done Speak Easy. Down in Cincinnati, Ohio, I have attended the field, presented the field. And Michael Pope is the gentleman right here. He's the Toastmaster who led the John Maxwell training. And they talk about meaning progress over perfections. If you notice on the left side, a leader is not a perfectionist. A leader is someone who make progress step by steps. It takes time to go one step at a time, but to encourage his or her follower to learn with the leader and eventually to lead their team. So, Thank you, Toastmaster Karen, for visiting the Independence. We had a great turnout with the next National Saxophone Day. We talk about important subject from honesty to body language. Leaders have to have integrity. It is a trait of Toastmaster International, but it should also be a trait for leaders from within. So now let's back to present to your home club. This was a screenshot I took last meeting. What does that mean to Westside Advance? How can Westside Advance lead in going forward? I understand we have different challenges, different goals, different personality, but leadership should have the one same core value is what? What is leader? By following other people's ideas, by listening to other people's concern, and by teaching others to lead forward. And that's something that can set your club apart. Why is that? Many of you have a vast array of experience, have been in Toastmasters for decades. It's time to teach us, the new generation, millennial, Gen Z, how can we follow suit? How can we follow your example? And that's something I see a significant potential in Westside Advanced Toastmasters.
Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster Bob.